So in case you're looking to improving privacy while accessing internet using your Android device, you can get this app called Quad9. It's available on the Play Store. So once I open the app, uh, all I have to do to get started is press the play button and it will give me the notification that I'm connected to Quad9 now. And at the bottom, I can see that uh, my queries are now encrypted and it also shows me what queries are being made through the device. So in this case, uh, I can see Google.com, Facebook.com, and Microsoft.com services being used uh, with timing. And if I select it, I can actually see the ANS and the round trip time as well. Um, if I want to, I can put it under a whitelist, uh, meaning uh, it wouldn't have to necessarily go through the Quad9 uh, screening. And um, the report option is if you think that a certain uh, domain is being malicious, you can report it to their services and it, and if they get enough reports, they'll block it. Uh, right now, I don't have anything under block because uh, I just started the service. However, in a few days, I will be able to see malicious hosts listed there. And in failed, I don't have anything either. Uh, they do have a statistics option as well uh, in case you're interested. and. Uh, you only get failed responses if uh, there's a network timeout or a local network failure. Now in settings, um, in case you do not want to have anything blocked uh, for malicious uh, reasons, uh, you can just disable it. However, I recommend that you keep it enabled. And then there is of course uh, protecting queries with DNS over TLS, so this is very important. And I've noticed that if I disable it, then uh, the app doesn't work. So yeah, in case you have any issues, just make sure that it's on and you should be good. Now start at boot should be on. And uh, this is something optional, I would say. So you can uh, disable it in case you do not want to report bugs to their service. And of course, there's like a little bit more advanced options. Like if you want to exclude certain applications from going through Quad9, you can do that. And uh, you can also, as I put a certain option like uh, host into the whitelist, you can see it here. And if I want to remove it, I can do that as well. And, or I can add other domains as well if I need to. And that's it, guys. Like in case you ju just uh, like a beginner user, all you have to do is just press the play button. And if you do not want to use the service, just press the stop button, as you guys can see. In case you're an advanced user and you might be interested in going through settings, uh, thank you for watching this video and I hope you guys find it useful.